why am I seeing a Dialga in Ultra League? <laughs> that is spicy. I kind of like it though. <laughs> but why? Oh, he did not shield. Please be quick enough. Very close. Oh, I was close. I was close. Very, very close. Hello, hello. And welcome to some Ultra League PvP that I have set up for you guys. This upcoming weekend, the 19th of April, we will have all three leagues back, both Great, Ultra and Master League. And I have decided this time around to make a uh, new Ultra League Double Water team featuring the new Shadow for Alligator that has become really, really popular and really, really strong in the Ultra League. And uh, this team is built around the fact that you have Trevenant, which is still pretty good in Ultra League, and it's very good against some of the more recent popular water Pokemon. If you do end up having a terrible lead, you can switch to Polyrath. That is a really good stage swap because it has Icy Wind that can counter the grass types if they do end up having it. Also, counter as the actual move is really good just overall against everything that is powerful against the Polyrath. Except some Psychic types, but hopefully not too many Cresselias <laughs> in Ultra League this time around. Um, and then again, if you do have Polyrath as a safe swap, it does bait out, usually, the Grass and Electric types so that Shadow of Relegator can run rampant towards the end. And that is kind of the strategy. So like, if it isn't Trevenant that's going to be really powerful, then maybe it's going to be Shadow of Relegator. Let's see how this goes. The infamous Cresselia. But I do appreciate seeing it in the lead. That is very, very, very nice. And then he switched it to a Pokemon that I can counter with my Polyrath. Yes! <laughs> very nice. So not only do I get to see the Cresselia not on my Polyrath, I do get to use my Polyrath against another Pokemon that I'm pretty strong against. Although I don't really have any strong moves back at him. <laughs> but since he keeps throwing Icicle Spears at me, I'm I'm okay. <laughs> he really should be charging up to the Earthquake to at least try to bait me a little bit. But I guess maybe he doesn't care. I don't know. Because Ic Icicle Spear still does decent damage for the energy. So he can just spam them. And maybe he's hoping I'm using a shield. But that's not happening, at least not so far. Yeah, because I'm just going to counter him. But I, I mean, he sh really should have charged up like he could have at least threatened me once right because look at my hp if he, if he threw an earthquake at least one of these three attacks it would have been another story but since he's just doing the icicle spears he's not threatening me at all now i will throw a sculpt at the cresselia i'm contemplating doing an icy wind for the second attack here because i believe i can survive maybe two attacks on trevenant if i icy wind him oh i get the defense drop anyways very nice yeah, because I'm not gonna. He's gonna throw an attack, isn't he? I think I'm icy winding here for the sake of destroying his attack even more now. Two times attack debuff. That is very nice. And if he does decide to farm me down, he can't really do that now. <laughs> I see. Two times attack debuff. You will not be allowed to farm me down. Grass nut. Oh, that does not do any damage. I mean, he did that on purpose, right? Yeah, he wanted to farm me down. But I'm just gonna get another one now. <laughs> he's gonna get a three times debuff now. Okay, but that at least means I know he has Grass Knot. So there's a pretty good chance the other one is Moonblast then. Three times attack. I'm just gonna farm him down. Yeah, I'm gonna eat these Moonblasts, which sucks. But three times debuff, I'm okay. I'm very certain I can survive two now. Since he's like triple debuff. Oh, he just keep, why do you keep throwing Grass Knots at me? Maybe you're not gonna reach both a Grass Knot and a Moonblast? Do you not have two attacks on your Cresselia? You, you best bodied a shiny. Oh, you do have a two attacks. <laughs> it was just an expensive one, I see. Like, you best bodied a shiny for Ultra League. You're not coming in <laughs> with two attacks. He was coming in with two attacks. Very nice. But this is another psychic Pokemon. He's not going to be happy when he sees my Feraligator at the end. <laughs> oh, and also, I, I have so much energy. It's wild. Shadow Ball. It's a defense Deoxys, though. That's really powerful and really tangy, but this is going to hurt, though. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I will force him to throw an attack on me, actually. Do we end up starting the video with a two-shield flex? I mean, we got very fortunate, right? So we basically countered everything he did. Like, we had answers for everything. Like, he got double Psychic. I got double Shadow Claw Pokemon. His safe swap was an Ice type, and I had a, a Fighting type. That even resisted all his attacks. I mean, except the Earthquake, but he didn't throw him. That felt a little bit too easy. We need some opposition now. And we're gonna get it. Okay, this is a Dark-type. 
So I will switch to my fur alligator, which is not a good idea either necessarily, but I really cannot use my only answer for the muck as my safe swap. Uh, so instead I will try and outspeed him with all these hydro cannons and see what he does. I'm expecting a shield and switch, but no, okay. I can survive one. Oh, especially when it's acid spray. Very nice. I can handle that. And now he switches in. Can I get to this ice beam? I can. Okay, very nice. I mean, it's not very nice, but it's okay. This means that I can get my Trevenant on the uh, the Togekiss instead of my Polyrath, which I'm very happy about. Uh, it is still going to suck a little bit because I'm going to have to throw Shadow Balls and he can just shield them and charm me down, basically. But I think... Can I bait him? Can I bait him with a seed bomb? It's a really high risk bait. I kind of need to though, don't I? I kind of need to. I hope he's not aware that I have a really bad Pokemon against his Togekiss at the back. Please shield. No! <laughs> Although I can then, now I can just do a second seed bomb, but still. Uh, I should have Shadow Ball for sure then. I mean, he might still not shield, which is okay, because then I have an advantage against the last Pokemon. Yeah, this is okay. I will take that. Oh, he comes back in with the mark. I see, I see, I see. And he's going to farm me down, although I'm not going to allow him to do that. He needs to spend the shield. I mean, he can survive this, but then... I will let attack go on my Polyrath. Oh, he's going to Acid Spray me, isn't he? Is he going to Acid Spray me towards the end? I mean, it would make sense, right? Because the otherwise it would be a Dark Pulse, which is not very effective. So he's going to Acid Spray me for sure. Okay, so what? But what's the last Pokemon? And do I have a chance with a shield on this guy? No. This is not looking good. I got lost. I've lost my defense. And he's going to lose some attack though. But this is not looking good. Like I'm, I do not do very super effective damage with my counters. Okay, we got the opposition that we were asking for. I'm going to shield the first one because I'm going to keep Icy Winding. Why are you not Dragon Clawing? This is more efficient, no? Uh, but we can still see. Like, I I kind of need almost three Icy Winds at this point, which is not good because he only needs two attacks and he's also pretty quick. If only I did a little bit more damage with my counters, I would have a chance here, but I, I just don't. But that is double legendary with a, with a muck. That's, that's, that's also pretty strong. Let's see. Yeah, if only my counters did a little bit more, I could have been okay, but no. He's also outspeeding me a little bit. Fair enough. I got I I just said it was free. I just said it was too easy, and now I got some opposition. GG's. Trevenant into the Togekiss. I mean I kinda like seeing the Togekiss on the lead. It it puts me in a little bit of a tough position because I really don't want to use seed bumps. Um, and he can very easily win if he like calls my bluff. But I do not want to see this on my polygraph, so I'm sort of happy. Really so good at predicting my baits. That is annoying. Like really annoying actually. Although I can't just keep doing seat bombs now because Togekiss is not super tanky in the Ultra League. So like I'm okay-ish. So I will just let my Trevenant go down. I will have an energy advantage on my Feraligator. Although, does he have two moves now? He might have two moves. I'm a little afraid he might have two moves. Oh, he switches. He switches. Why does he switch into Conkildur now? Okay. That means I kind of need my, my Polyrath in here now. But what? No. This is not good. I will take an attack because he will just charm me down with the Togekiss. Uh, otherwise, I will save the shields for my uh, my for alligator. Like I kind of need to do that, right? Also, this is not very effective. Good, good call, good call. I can get a icy wind off on the Togekiss. I will survive one attack, right? This is Ultra League. I'm not gonna die to the very first. Did he just let me get this attack off? Like I know it was really low, so I could have just countered it down. But it, he has like one or two moves ready. What? That was a, um, a, a pretty big misplay <laughs> from my opponent. <laughs> I do dislike when that happens. You have a really, really slow attack. 
that takes a lot of turns, like Charm. And then uh, you just get absolutely owned by someone having an attack ready. <laughs> Switch! Yes! <laughs> Uh, it happens. It happens to the best of us, though. This hopefully is the night slice that I caught, which is now not very effective. Yeah, let's go. And I can have like neutral attacks, and I got resisted attack. This is okay. This is not as good though, but still okay. I thought I was afraid this was another buck type. I was afraid about Galissapod, but this was a buck steel, and not a buck water. So he's going double buck type for now. Splash. Ooh, attack fail, let's go. That means I don't have to shield at all, I believe. I believe I don't need to shield. Like, even the drill run. Oh, he has arrow lace, doesn't he? Oh, he doesn't use it, doesn't use it. I, I believe Excavalier has access to arrow lace. I, was, I got afraid just, just for a split second. All right, he comes in with a Giratina. Ooh, that means I can start debuffing his attack. Then I can come in with the Trevenant and farm him down, maybe. And then I have my Feraligator for his uh, scissor. Can I get this Isawind off? Just barely. Oh, that is so nice. That kind of means I can maybe even let two Dragon Claws or Shadow Sneaks go through on my Trevenant. Because, like, he's got no attack at all. He needs to be very careful, though. Yep, he was not counting moves for my first Trevenant because I have a lot of energy. This is not going to one shot, but it's going to be very, very close. See ya! <laughs> Almost. <laughs> but that's fine. Like I can let everything go through now, because I can just farm it down on my um, on my Feraligator now. I kind of wanted to showcase my Feraligator a little bit more <laughs> than I have been doing these matches. Although I will be taking these matches, because they're they're pretty funny, actually. I like them. Am I even going to use my Feraligator this match? I don't even think I'm going to use my Shadow Feraligator. I, I had planned before I started this video to make this a Shadow Feraligator kind of thing. But now it's just Polyrath being a really good safe swap. Driven and into a regular muck. I mean, that is really powerful against my team. Like, I'm not having a good time here. Um, but I will see how he reacts to the Shadow Ball. I might get a shield advantage and start switching out a little bit. I kind of hope that he switches and do like a Dark Pulse or something. I'm kind of hoping this is a Dark Pulse that I caught. It's not the best Pokemon to catch at a tag on. Um, Thunder Punch even. What? Did he see my switch? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What is this? He Did he either, either he might have predicted it or he saw the switch coming. This is not good. Not good at all. Whew. Although I will still get his shields before his before mine, but ooh, okay, okay, this is gonna be a spicy one. Ah, oh, okay, he lets that go. I mean, he kind of will beat me to the thunder punch now, wouldn't he? Can I farm him down? No. Oh, but that's that's decent actually. He knows I have a trevenant. I'll come back in with a trevenant, have a little bit of an energy advantage, but he gets switch off of this. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I will wait out the timer. So if I end up being stuck in a really bad. Matchup, maybe I can switch out a little sooner. Hopefully it doesn't have a dark type. That would be really terrible. That is luckily not a dark type. Although, why am I seeing a Dialga in Ultra League? <laughs> that is spicy. I kind of like it though. <laughs> but why? Oh, he did not shield. Oh, he hasn't powered it up. That was That must be a mistake. Oh, but he has... No, 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 no. Can I get to this? <gasps> he has a grass type in the back. Oh, but I will get his shield or a lot of damage done here. So I think I might have a chance, although it just does look pretty bad. Was that a Razor Leaf? That was indeed Razor Leaf. Okay, this is not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. But that might mean... Maybe he doesn't make it to two moves before I make it to two of mine. I'm a little concerned here. Although I will reduce his attack, I will still faint to the next Frenzy Plant. But can he make it to a Frenzy Plant with the Razor Leaf now? I will not be able to counter this down, so I need another Icy Wind. Please be quick enough. Very close. Oh, I was close. I close. Very, very close. I will take that. <laughs> These have been some really exciting and spicy matches. I do like that. 
Ooh, did he shut off his app? I think he raised quite a little bit. He might even have reached the attack. I'm actually not sure which of... Uh, whoa, what's this? I'm not sure which of uh, Venusaur and Polyrath has the highest attack, so who goes first? I would expect it to be Venusaur, so this does look a little bit more like lag and shutting down the uh, the app. Maybe more like a rage quit than anything else. What? What is this? Why am I doing this what, three times now? No, 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 no. Am I gonna lose on this? Please don't get me stuck on this loop. What is... what? I'm confused. What? What? No. What? No, no. What is, this is what? How many times? Actually, I don't even need to do any bubbles because you got absolutely no HP. So I should have still won. But I'm I'm very stuck in this loop. <laughs> what is this? I'm not even doing anything. Like what? I'm, no hands. What? What is this? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> that's that's one way of. <laughs> That's just one way of doing it, I guess. Do I need to close the app now? Have I lost? Have I won? I don't know. The previous battle could not be recovered? So I lost? I lost on a win? What is this? But at least I got it on camera. So I will I will take that. That is that is a pretty funny way of ending this video. And I will I will decide that this was a 4-1 and not a 3-2. <laughs> I riot. <laughs> If you guys appreciated some Ultra League Crew P, give this video a thumbs up. That would be very, very much appreciated. It would also be appreciated if you consider subscribing to the channel. This is still a pretty new English project and it would help me out a lot. I hope you guys have a great weekend with all these PvP leagues available. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.